What is up guys, McAfee Speed coming at you. Absolutely balmy day today. 35 degrees out here at the long distance Northern California range. If you're a fan of the channel and subscribe, this week we went ahead and started something called Scope Cam Shorts. It's basically just a quick series of 25 yard testing videos that I was able to put together in a friend's backyard before we get out to the range. In one of those Scope Cam Shorts this week, the 19 grain slugs from Air Guns of Idaho were absolutely exemplary. Why is this such a big deal? because in general, the aerodynamics of pellets cause them to lose energy much more quickly than a traditionally shaped bullet type projectile. My hope is, if these 19 grain slugs prove accurate at the 50 yard mark, the same way we saw them at that 25 yard mark, then the added ballistic coefficient benefit may actually be what we're looking for to make those 100 plus yard shots I keep fantasizing about with this rifle. We're all topped up, we got all of our cameras ready to rock and roll, we got our 19 grain slugs loaded, and I've got the Sightmark Wraith ready to rip for us. We're still at the 25 yard distance, so I'm probably gonna have to adjust my sight in, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it on target and group it out for you boys. Realistically, it'll be interesting to see what the scope cam sees here, just based on the fact that I'm hoping to be able to catch projectile drop, right? I wanna be able to see, moreover, I want you guys to be able to see what I'm seeing as far as the arc in of these big bad bombs. Is it just gonna do it? Oh, it's just gonna do it lit, dude. Bog pod, hell yeah. All right. I can see that I am twisted here. Working at about half the magnification that this thing's capable of. Let's just go ahead and start the feed. See what we come up with. It did not make it out there even close. It was like, the tink, and then I heard a skip. So we're gonna go ahead and lo uh, lower the zoom here so I can see what's going on a little bit better and just go ahead and uh, raise our aim. Top of the board. Go ahead and, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hold it right about here for you guys. Let's zoom it in and see where we hit. Oh! Yo, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, move this guy right on up. Let's see if we went the right way with this. I feel like we did. We did, and I need to go more. like that much more. Saved successfully. All right, lit. Fucking nice. I'm so glad I got a camera down there validating this because this is just too good. And that's our first magazine. I am going to check the pressure at this point. 
2,500 PSI, so plenty considering we started around 2,800. Basically doing nothing to it, just gonna go ahead and continue, same spot. Let's go ahead and shift it over to that right hand side target. Damn it. I was so hoping that these were gonna do like hole on hole the same way we saw in the short. It's not terrible. Fuck, realistically for slugs, what am I talking about? This is actually really good. I mean, I don't know what they're doing this wise, right? To be able to get that kind of an impact as far as point of impact on target, but the group looks good. If I do my part, these slugs will do theirs. You know, I don't know how many more slugs I got, but I do want to go for the headshot. Fuck. Kentucky windage needs work. Kentucky windage needs work. Ah, two failures. Again, damn. All right guys, I think the best thing for us to do at this point is just go ahead and slap some pacers on that thing, send out some pellets that we also found a really good in those scope cam shorts and see what we can do comparatively with the traditional style ammunition in this platform. Got those nice clean Barracuda coppers here. Back to the left hand side target. We're just gonna try and lay a group down. Good. Fucking good. I definitely pulled it on that one. I way should have been way more on target before I squeezed. better. Let's go for the headshots. Oh, it's all, I'm doing that again. Good fun, buddy. I love it. I'm going to continue to do that until I run out of ammo or air charge. One of the two. It's just too much fun. your turn chrome dome Good solid hits, man. I 
and that's the end of the magazine. Honestly, this little carbine is so far exceeding my expectations, it's not even funny. Between the combination of uh, this scope, the ammunition that we've been testing, and my own skill set improving through the test of time, I'm very pleased with what we've been able to extract so far. This is going to be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode, guys. But if you liked today's episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it and I'll catch you boys in the next one.